If in a thunderstorm, the Earth is struck by lightning, the force creates concentric waves which slowly expand to circle the world until they come back to where they started. This proves to us that the Earth's crust is a conductor of electrical energy. Now, if we were to produce large quantities of electrical energy and if we directed it into the Earth's crust, then that energy would travel in concentric waves. There were rumors you went to Colorado Springs in order to contact Mars, is that true? It is possible for us to send out waves which can travel around the world. There are waves as well which can travel into space. How are you going to talk with them? I never intended to. However, I recorded certain electrical impulses of unknown origin, and these were repeated at constantly timed intervals. It's possible they were a kind of signal from space. And did you in turn send them a message? Ask the Martians that question. But you did send some sort of signal. A signal which might not be received for a million years. Therefore, Mr. Tesla, you do believe communication with distant worlds may someday be possible. Perhaps they've been sending us messages for ages, but we aren't aware of it. Mr. Tesla, what's that big pile of papers down there on the floor? My file on the work in Colorado Springs. Can you tell us what's in it? It's a new electrical system, completely different. As yet, it hasn't been finished. In just what way is it different? How will it affect us? Well, a great deal of it is merely guesswork, but it might have an important impact on the future. I hope it will lead to a decisive answer to the problem of energy. Good day, gentlemen. Mr. Sasson, Mr. Sasson, Mr. Sasson. Mr. Sasson.